Hi, Dan Long here today from Kilmo Training Company here in Tampa, Florida at the Powerhouse Gym downtown. For all you CriticalBench.com fans, I want to go over today on how to hang your suspension trainer. So if you have a Jungle Gym XT, a TRX, an SBT, or whatever you have, it's important to know that obviously you want to hang this strap to be successful, not have your feet hang on the ground and drag, and obviously give you enough room so that you can perform all your exercises and be successful with your exercises on your suspension trainer. So I'm located here in my fancy TRX room here in Powerhouse Gym. We have these um, straps that are hanging from our ceiling where these are right about at about seven and a half feet tall, okay? Every time you hang your strap, you may be using a tree, you may be using a door inside your house or a hotel room, um, you could be possibly in your garage. Every height is going to be different. Now, obviously, you wouldn't be able to use this strap if you have anything that's like eight feet or higher because really the only thing that you'd be able to do is hang this hook on that. So with my seven and a half foot drop that I have here, I'm gonna step up here, I'm gonna put my actual anchor through here, okay? And now, when you set this up, this is called your equalizer loop right here on your TRS. It's very important that this equalizer loop be right around six foot. So, I'm six foot two, okay? I always look right across and right at, right above my eye is going to be right at six feet, right? So with this being said, I just attach this onto my other eye hook, which is your carabiner. You, you, I actually put my carabiners together, and then here is my equalizer loop, which is right around six foot. Now, what's very important to understand why this is needed to be at six feet is because if I extend my straps all the way down, you'll notice that now that they're all the way down, I have enough room for my feet to be in the feet cradles and my toes not to be dragging on the ground. So for any lower body exercises or core, it's very important to make sure that your feet are not dragging on the ground. That's why we want this equalizer loop right at six feet. So when you make your adjustment here for whatever it is you're attaching to, just make sure that you have an equalizer loop always at six foot and you'll never have any problems, okay? This is Dan Long coming to you for criticalbench.com, Kilmo Training Company. If you need anything from us, make sure you're contacting Mike with criticalbench.com. Have an amazing day and kick butt with your suspension trainer. Make it happen, suspension revolution gone wild.